2018 will mark Russia's 11th appearance in the FIFA World Cup finals. And here to share his memories of the team's 2014 campaign is national team defender Yuri Zhirkov. Every player dreams about playing in a World Cup in their career. It's an experience that can't be matched. This is because to play at the finals is the pinnacle of world football. The first World Cup I remember watching was the tournament in America in 1994. I remember I was in a sports camp at the time. The matches were broadcast late at night, but we were allowed to watch some of the games and it really captivated me. Zhirkov made his international debut in 2005 and firmly established himself as a regular in the squad. Under the then national team coach Fabio Capello, Zhirkov helped Russia qualify for the finals in Brazil, the team's first World Cup appearance in 12 years. To represent your country is a huge honour that not every player has the opportunity to experience. I felt pride because to be in Brazil meant I deserved my spot in the national team. In their opening match, Russia faced Korea Republic. There are no weak teams at a World Cup. All the teams present are there on merit and want to win. In Brazil, we were no different. As a team, we wanted to win every game. Despite the Russians' confidence, it was the Koreans who opened the scoring midway through the second half. The Russians' response, though, was decisive. Zhirkov made way for Alexander Kershikov, and six minutes later, the forward levelled the scores. To be honest, we were not that disappointed with the result. It was our first game of the World Cup, and for the majority of the players, it was also their first World Cup match. I think the draw was a fair result, and we wanted to build on it. Heartache was to follow, though, in their second game, as Divock Origi's 88th-minute goal condemned them to a 1-0 loss against Belgium. However, results elsewhere meant the Russians still had a chance to qualify for the knockout stages, heading into their final match against Algeria. Needing a victory, the Russians took an early lead through Alexander Kukorin. But the North Africans struck back in the 60th minute through Islam Slimani. Viktor Faizulin had a late chance to secure his team's passage through to the next round, but it wasn't to be. Their second one-all draw of the tournament saw the Russians eliminated at the group stage. Of course, to go out at that stage wasn't a great feeling. We played our best in that game, but I think what we thought about the most after the match was all the people we'd let down back home in Russia. We thought they would be angry with us. We failed to fulfil the goals we set ourselves before the tournament, and that was disappointing. I think when you lose on such a stage, it can be very emotional. It was very upsetting for us all, both players and coaches. To be honest, I think it's always hard to say anything after something like that. The tournament may have ended sooner than they would have wanted, but for Yuri Zhirkov and his teammates, the 2014 FIFA World Cup still left them with plenty of memorable moments. There were so many standout things for me in Brazil. Each of the games had its own unique moments. Of course, it was also my first visit to the country, and I got to see how all the people there love football. But I think my favourite memory was seeing and being in the Maracanã Stadium for our second match. 